Hello friends. Welcome to the Equity Master. This is the fourth video in this series. My name is Rajesh. Today we will discuss about dividend, dividend yield, and how they are calculated. Let's begin. I will give you a beautiful comparison so you can understand dividend easily. When you deposit in savings account, public provident fund, Sukanya Samridhi account, fixed deposits, recurring deposits etc., you earn interest against your deposit. Similarly when you invest in stock market, you will get benefited by two ways. Number 1. By appreciation in share price. Number 2. By dividend. Dividend is the sum of money paid regularly by a company to its shareholders out of its profits. So it is some portions of the profit paid to shareholders. Dividend is issued as cash payments or shares or any other forms. Dividend paid out is decided by board of directors of the company. The main key point to be remembered that dividend is not guaranteed. That is there is no legal obligation to pay dividend. Let's discuss types of dividends according to time. If dividends are paid out after interim results of the company, that is, quarterly or half yearly, they are called interim dividends. If dividends are paid out after final or result of the company they are called final dividends. This is is very important that how to calculate dividends. Dividend depends on face value of the share. Dividend amount per share is equal to dividend percentage of face value. To understand better, let's consider one problem. Let dividend declared by the company is 2300%. Where company's face value is 1 rupee. You have number of shares 500, how much dividend you will get paid. As I told earlier, dividend per share is equal to dividend percentage of face value, that is here 2300% of face value. Which equals to 2300% of 1 rupee. That is only 23 rupees per share. Therefore total dividend earned is equal to 23 multiplied by number of shares that is 500 is equal to 11,500 rupees. Let us consider another example. Dividend declared by the company is 250%. Face value of the company is 10 rupees. What will be dividend amount per share? As we know dividend per share is equal to dividend percentage of face value, that is here 250% of 10. That is 25 rupees. Here we learn that when face value increases, dividend will decrease and vice versa. Now we will discuss what is dividend yield. It is represented as percentage. It is defined as the ratio of dividend per share to share price. So dividend yield is equal to dividend per share divided by share price into 100. Let's consider one example. Given that share price is 250 rupees and dividend per share is 8 rupees. Hence dividend yield is equal to 8 divided by 250 into 100 which is equal to 3.2%. If you have invested 100,000 rupees, then dividend paid will be 3.2% of 100,000 that is 3,200 rupees. Let's consider another example. Let there are two companies A and B. Share price of A is 50 where share price of B is 200. Let both companies announce same dividend amount per share that is 2 rupees. Dividend yield of company A is equal to 2 divided by 50 into 100, which is equal to 4%. Similarly, dividend yield of company B is equal to 2 divided by 200 into 100, which is equal to 1%. Here please note that when share price decreases, dividend yield will increase and when share price increases, dividend yield will decrease. This is all about dividend and dividend yield. If you get some knowledge from this video, please give a thumbs up, share to your friends and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye. Have a nice day.